How's it going everyone? Basic let's showing you how to do a water change without lifting any buckets or carrying anything heavy in that sort of terms. So what I do or what I have at the moment to do my water change I have a, a siphon or a gravel vacuum connected down to the inlet of a submersible pump. And the submersible pump has a 15 meter hose connected to the laundry where the water will drain. Um, the reason why I have everything in a bucket because this is an old submersible pump and it does leak but it's so minute that I reckon this sort of pump could even do a water change on 125 gallon and not have this bucket overflow. Um, at the moment as you can see there's probably about about one and a half litres of water in the bucket and I've drained almost 50% of the tank. And the great thing with this is the submersible pump is powerful. That way it can drain the water faster. And, and I can also have a stronger vacuum when I do my gravel vac. As you can see, it's pretty powerful. And it sucks up all the debris that's been collecting at, at the bottom. It does suck up a tiny bit of the sand. Um, but I'm not too fast, it's not going to suck up a great a huge amount. And so when I do my water changes on this 75 gallon, I want to do more than 50% of the tank. Uh, because I do have a 3 foot sump down below. And this is probably, it probably has about, it's probably about 70% full of water. And so, you know, 70, 70, and, and just, just, I take about 70% out of the tank, the top tank. Um, so I get at least 50, uh, 50 50 water change every week. Remember, guys, the best thing to do for your fish tank is water changes. You'll keep your fish healthy, it'll lower your nitrates, um, it'll actually make your fish grow healthier as well. Um, it'll also lower your chances of having algae because algae feed off nitrates. So if you keep your nitrates low, you'll have less algae problems. Um, so now I'll just show you how fast the flow rate is for the outlet that's coming from this submersible pump. I reckon I could do this water change and a gravel vac in about 15 minutes. But to fill it up again, it takes another 15 minutes. But that's okay. I'll sit here and just watch a bit of TV and just, yeah. So this is the flow rate coming out of this hose, I mean the hose is 15 meters and you can imagine that from that pump I reckon it's probably pulling about what well, I can't really project. It's doing quite well. You can drain about say 250 liters in about 15, 15 minutes. So it's probably about 1000 liters an hour. I just want to discuss how I've adapted my inlet to um, the gravel vacuum you can see I've got some PVC fittings so I mean at first the gravel vac will never connect straight to the submersible pump therefore I've just gone down to my local Bunnings and the best way is just bring your own submersible pump there and just play around the fittings and of course bring your gravel vac as well and you know just play around in there find the stuff you need and most of the time you will be able to find something that will connect to your gravel vac. Um, there's just a million options at Bunnings and this is um, where I get most of my plumbing anyway. Um, people willing to help or ask, ask them anything whether you want to have a reducer or vice versa you know. Um, it is really helpful to have something like this while you're doing water changes. Also, when I do water changes, I want to change out my poly wall as well, probably about once a month. I like to do probably do once a fortnight. I'm still trying to figure out what I need to do in this tank. It is a new tank, so I'm just trying to get down the routine of really what needs to be done uh, for my maintenance. And that's the thing, guys. You need to have a routine of everything what you do. It makes it a lot easier. You don't just randomly do things here and there. Um, it makes your life a lot easier and it will probably be better for your fish because fish always like consistency. Pets like routines just like fish.
consistency and routine is the key. Okay, I've now drained the amount of water I want to for my for my tank, and then now it's time for refill. So how I refill is I have a hose connected to a laundry tap, and there's an adapter in the tap which I will show you right now. So what I have is this is my laundry tap, and this is the hose that will be going into my tank. It's just a standard hose fitting. And I know some taps are quite modern these days and a lot of people don't know how to do water changes because it's so difficult to change or find an adapter that works. So here is just one example of taps. There's many adapters at Bunnings. Just ask the plumbing guys or the plumbing section and they're always willing to help you out. So this tap out of here, it's, um, you can actually screw off this um, outlet part <coughs> quite easily. And this comes out and simply I've bought adapter like this, which is very similar as you can see. It's very similar. The threading is similar. And this way I can just attach to the tap Grab my hose Clip it on And this way I can now turn on the tap Match my water temperature which I know is about this This sort of setting You'll get used to this as you do more water changes, you sort of figure out where the water should be going. And this will go straight to my tank. And I'll show you the flow rate for that. So this is the tank now filling. It's probably filling about the same rate as the submersible pump was draining before. So this will probably take about 15 minutes to fill up this whole tank back to where I need it to be for my sump to work. Um, of course, when you do your water changes, you need to add um, water conditioner. A lot of people use Prime. You can even use um, any other water conditioner that you please. Um, they all do quite a similar job. But I prefer to use Seachem Safe. It's now filled. There has been a micro bubbles around. I'll just clear that out with the net. And also, change my poly wall. And the sump is ready to go for another week or to another water change which I'm excited about because it keeps your fish healthy and the poly wall can probably stay there for about you know as I said a month to a fortnight that sort of thing and yeah hope you enjoyed my video